Hey, it's Dave. Welcome back to my channel. So yesterday, my buddy Rich Dooley was over, and he and I were talking about a bunch of songs, and he pointed out to me that everyone that plays whipping posts uses the wrong chord. So I thought um, that I would show people what the chord is, because it's starting to drive me nuts, actually. He pointed out a bunch of things online, and I was like, almost like every person teaching the song teaches it this way. And clearly, when I listen to the record or hear it live, it's not that way. So I thought we would do a little bit of whipping post. So the song starts off, it's in 11-8 time. Uh, now, we talked about this before in my time video. So 11-8 is basically shaving a 1-8 triplet out of the triplets. So we count it like this. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2. And so the first guitar comes in and plays... Which is one. The second guitar comes in in the intro and it just plays on its it comes in on two. So basically it's like one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's the same count except we're not playing on one. We come in on two, three. So it's like one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two. So it's a... Then the song after the intro, after all that, goes into the song. Now we go back into 4-4 four, four, or 12-8. So now we're going to count even bars. And the keyboard starts it off. The keyboard starts playing the riff. The guitar waits for four bars. So basically the keyboard is playing A, then with the B, D in there, and then with the C, E in there. It's basically like playing A, C sharp, and then a high A, and then a B, D, A, and then a C, E, A. So the first chord, and this is what uh, Rich Dooley and I were talking about, was that people play A minor, and it's not an A minor, it is an A major. And then the guitar comes in, and it also plays the A major, and it plays this. All right? And that's over. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three. We're in even bars now of 12, 8. And this is the riff. It's A and C sharp, B and D, C and E, and then most people are playing it online, and I've seen this everywhere thanks to Rich showing me, was this. It is not a minor. It is... So after this section it goes into a halftime feel. And during that section, that's where the guitar is like. Uh... plays those types of riffs. So you can figure out those riffs. I'm just trying to show you the main part of the song. And then it kicks into um, the, the chorus, which is... Now, there's two guitar lines. Uh, I'll give you the, the one that's the root is... And that's A, G, E, C sharp, D. And then it plays and stops on that C. The harmony to that, the other guitar, 
is here and it starts on C sharp. Again, we're playing A major and it's... And that's C sharp, B, A, E, F sharp, to E. And again, holds the E for that stop. Oh, Lord, I feel like I'm dying. And now the next lick is they're playing octaves, so it's like... And the other guitar is just doing an octave. And then we have the interlude, again, now back to 11-8 time. So we have one playing it in A, going A, B, C. Four two. You can think of it as four and two, and that's if you want to count it um, to break down those uh, eighth notes down to sixteenths. I guess you would say they have two sixteenth triplets, uh, but without the third. So. Um, <laughs> The harmony to that is the fifth, and it's... And again, these are just, they do fours of these, and then they go right back into the verse, but solo over the verse. And so then that's the first solo. And then that comes back in with another verse, another chorus and all that again and then another solo and then that solo is going to end on um, it does a walk up it goes into a triplet walk up let's go over that so this walk up that ends the solo and brings us to the final chorus is um, basically like you would just think of it as in the key of G so we have A B C D E like this. So the last chord of it is just an A minor 9. And it's played this way. You can hear one guitar playing this, another one playing that inversion. And then uh, you hear like... Um, like some a couple of leads behind it. Anyways, that should give you an idea of how the song goes. I really just wanted you to know that that ended... That that, verse there it was major there in the verse not minor and um, that's about it that's all I wanted to talk about today uh, I am going to get to uh, if I can change your mind by sugar I'm going to show that as my next lesson and then um, I also have a video I'm going to do a video on the film The Shining uh, I've recently come into what I feel is a deep understanding of the film, and I think it changes the way you watch the film. And uh, I think you should know it. And it's something that's very interesting. I know it's not guitar-related, but I love the movie, and uh, it's very interesting stuff. The other thing is, if you want to see, there's a movie called Room 237, which is completely an insane look at people's trying to interpret The Shining, and I think it's pretty nuts. And um, I've seen interviews later with 
guys who worked on the movie and they were all like, yeah, no. But that being said, um, there's a lot of things that I thought were mistakes in the film in continuity issues. And when I finally have, uh, when I explain it, you'll see that they're actually not continuity. They're actually, they're very much um, there on purpose. And there's a reason. And it'll be fun. So if you like The Shining, I hope you look forward to that. And um, very good. <laughs> How's that for a topper? <laughs> You're right on target. You're right on the money. Everything you said. You hit the nail right on the head with your comments, what you're saying today. You're 150% correct.